Hello, Year 5, and welcome to your English lesson. Thank you so much for all of your amazing, innovative versions of the Pied Piper of Hamlin last week. Um, I can see that you've all progressed such a long way from when you did your coal task at the start of the year. Um, and this week, you are going to have a go at writing your own um, legends. Now, normally we would do this as a hot task in school where there'd be minimal input from me, but because of these changed circumstances, we are going to do it a little bit differently. Um, now, one of the best things about using Teams is that I can give you much more detailed feedback, especially in your written work, and I can highlight bits and pieces and I can give you specific areas where you can add things in. So if you're not on Teams yet, please do try and get up there for this um, English se um, session because there is a scaffold in there for you. The model text is all in there for you. Um, and I can put in word maps and things as necessary for people that need it. So it'd be really, really beneficial for you to go onto Teams, especially for this one. So let's have a look at our starter, first of all. And um, I'd like you to have a go at adding a relative clause to add extra detail to this sentence. Now, if you're on Teams, if you have a look underneath um, in your resources section, one of the um, things will be called um, starter and you can just type into that. So have a go at coming up with a couple of different relative clauses that could add extra information to this sentence. Um, pause the video, have a go at that first. Okay, so let's have a look at the ones that I came up with. Obviously, there depends on what has happened in the story as to what sort of thing you would go for. Um, so the queen whose golden hair tumbled down her shoulders sat in, in the throne and contemplated. Um, or the queen who had guards either side of her ready to do her bidding sat in the throne and contemplated. That gives us an idea of two very different queens. We've got one queen who um, it's got that long golden hair, gives us that image of Rapunzel. Uh, one queen who's got guards either side of her, so she needs to be protected, but they're ready to do her bidding. So maybe she's asking them to do things. It just gives us that connotation of two very different styles of queens. Over the next couple of slides, what I've got for you is our Piper of Hamelin. Um, model text. I'm not going to read through it. If you need um, me to do that, then go back and find the earlier video from the first Friday, um, which would have been the 8th of January. Um, and there you can listen to me read through it. Um, but I'm just going to remind us because some people might want to write something similar to this and just slightly change the tale again. Um, and that's absolutely fine. It's a really clever way of doing this to use the model text to target. So um, sorry, there's the first page of it. If you want to pause it and read through it, Second page of it, if you want to pause it and read through it. Third page of it, if you want to pause it and read through it. Remember, if you want to hear me reading it, that's absolutely fine. Go back to the English lesson from Friday the 8th, and you can listen to me reading that, or um, the Legend of Randwick as well. Um, so when we are planning a nonfiction text, we need to have a think of a few different things. We need to think of an opening or a beginning. Um, and in this case, that also links into that thing called a preamble, where we've got that conversational start to it. Then we need a build up. We need to lead ourselves into the action. And the action happens in the problem where something has to go wrong. Um, then the resolution is where that whatever was going wrong is fixed. And then the end, what happens? after that. So in a legend, it might be, um, for example, where it, in the legend of Randwick, where it said that that's why they still say run, Rick, run. Maybe you will have an interestingly shaped tree or boulder or forest uh, near the village that your legend is set in. And you can at the end say, and that is why uh, Dragon Rock has got its name or something like that. You can link it into whatever you want to with your legend. Here's our toolkit for legends as well. So when you are coming up with your own ideas for a legend, you need to include a setting from the past. You need to include fronted adverbials of time. So many of you use fronted adverbials really effectively. I'd love to see more of that as well. Uh, relative clauses to give more information, just like we did in the starter there. Describe a human hero. Remember with legends, they need to be close to believable. Um, use a wide range of sentence lengths. Um, accurately use speech marks and use that dialogue to progress your story. You show, don't tell to describe a setting. We did so much work on that in the last week. And make sure that you go back to those videos and re-watch them if you need to. Um, have a moral to the story or a lesson learned or something that makes that legend 
an important story wherever it's told and include that preamble that we talked about. Um, so in our resources underneath um, our video here in Teams, we have got um, a copy of this plan that's got the original plan for the Pied Piper of Hamlin, our innovated version for our shared right, and then it's got a space for you to add in your own independent plan. Now, the reason that we do that is because it's quite useful to look across and see some of the things that happen in the model text. You do not need to do another version of the Pied Piper of Hamlin. You can choose to go away from that if you would like to. But if you're not sure, then stick closely to the model text. It's a really effective way of making sure that you have something that you can look at throughout to help you. Um, so this will be available for you. And if you're not on Teams yet, please do get on Teams by tomorrow if possible. Um, but you can pause the screen here and you can use that to help you. Here are some of the things that you need to have a think about in each section. And even if you're on Teams, do have a look at this video as well. Pause this video as you are going back to it. So um, a preamble, so conversational, what's the difference? How can we get that contrast between what it's like now and what it was like at that stage? Set the scene, where are they, when are they, what season is it, what extra information do we need? The build up. So what needs to happen in the story to take us to your main problem? What clues are we given to the problem? Um, and how can you build up tension in the build up? So the build up is basically getting you from the beginning to your problem. Something needs to happen in between. In the problem, what goes wrong? How do the characters react? Please remember that this is the exciting part of your story. Problems shouldn't just be two sentences. Problems can be two or three paragraphs sometimes. This is where all of the action happens. This is where you really hook your reader in and make it exciting. The resolution, how is the problem solved? How do the characters react? Um, how do the characters escape or get free, depending on what the problem was? And then the ending. Um, what do the characters learn from the experience? What happens afterwards? And has it meant there's some sort of tradition in the village like there was in the Randwick one? Or is there a landmark in the village that is linked to this legend? So that's your job for today. Some of you used some different examples of legends. So for example, um, Riley, you wrote about the legend of Atlantis. There are other legends that you can use if you would like to. So if you want to do a bit of research before you start planning your legend and recap some of these stories, then you absolutely can. There will be some in there that you already know that you might want to turn into your own. So there's Robin Hood, there's the Loch Ness Monster, King Arthur, the Sword in the Stone, uh, Beowulf, Odysseus, or the Legend of Atlantis like Riley did. So if you want to take some of those legends and slightly change them, you absolutely can. Please feel free to let your imaginations run wild. And throughout the week, what we're going to do is each day, we're going to focus on one section except for the Friday. So tomorrow you're going to be writing the preamble in the beginning. On Wednesday, you'll be writing the build up. On Thursday, the problem. And then on Friday, the resolution in the ending. So today is just the plan. So look for that resource on Teams. It should be underneath. You can type straight into that. Um, I look forward to seeing your plans and hopefully I will be able to give you some feedback on them as well.